Okay, good morning. We are Big Joe and Laura on Mix 95.7 Grand Rapids Best Mix. Welcome to your Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. How's it going, Laura? Hey, it's a Tuesday. Um, I am alive. I'm here. I'm barely coherent. I don't know why I'm so tired this morning. Like, I, the little guy actually let me sleep last night a little bit, so I'm just kind of like, why do I feel so exhausted? Is it the heat? Did you sleep too much, which I know sounds impossible, but you ever do that where maybe on a weekend if you lay down and take a nap and then it's like, oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I don't think I slept too much, but maybe my body was like starting to get adjusted to sleeping and it was like, wait, 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 hold on. We didn't get enough of that stuff. We did have a big workout yesterday, though, together. So maybe, you know, some of the stuff we did had an impact on your tiredness. Possibly. We tried out a new career yesterday. I don't know if they're going to hire us or not, but we did have a good time. No, they, they are not going to hire us. We're talking about Vito's Pizza uh, right on Fulton. I, it's so funny. I love that place. And I used to live right next door, like in a house that was divided into four apartments. It's now a parking garage. But so many times I would find myself wandering over there for a whole pizza or a slice of pizza. And the reason we bring this up is that, well, we want to bring pizza to your work. Yeah, from Vito's Pizza. Uh, basically, we're doing what's called the workplace of the week. The idea is that uh, every other week we're going to go out and just kind of say, hey, we like you. Thanks for being awesome. We're going to give you a pizza party. So if your boss isn't giving you that pizza party you deserve, let us do it for them. Uh, we'll, we'll show up with pizza and garlic knots. And honestly, uh, we made it. We kind of got to help make some pizzas yesterday and, and play around. And honestly, like, oh, I never had Vito's, but I drove by it all the time. And it's one of those places my husband and I had always been like, we need to go there. We need to go there. We need to go there. Yeah. It was so good. I took a few slices home. He had a few. I had a few. It was genuinely some really quality good pizza. So I'm really excited about the opportunity to bring it to you. And you can see some of the fun we had yesterday. Um, I did post a video up on our Mix 957 GR and Big Joe and Laura Instagram accounts. And then our Big Joe and Laura TikTok account as well of us. Uh, getting the pizza ready for you and all that, and there'll be some more stuff coming up this week. But yeah, you should uh, you should go check that out. You should also give us a follow on that social media so you can always be part of the show. Absolutely, and hey, get signed up to be Workplace of the Week, and make sure all your coworkers sign up. The more of you that sign up, the better your odds. Pizza, you, your mouth. You're welcome. We're Big Joe and Laura. Good morning here on Mix Study Five Seven. It's time for Big Joe and Laura's Need to Know News on Mix 95.7. The Detroit Tigers announced that former manager Jim Leland's number 10 will be retired on August 3rd following his election to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, if you go to this game, which I really want to go to, the first 15,000 fans that attend will receive a Jim Leland starter kit, which includes a baseball cap, mustache, and sunglasses. Nope, sorry, no cigarettes included. If you're a fan of burgers, this is going to be good news for you because a long run Running Muskegon Staple is opening a second location along the lakeshore. If you know about Hamburger Mikey, you know that they got the good stuff. And they said that they're going to be opening a new location on West Savage Drive, which is like where uh, Beefy's Burger Shack used to be. So clearly okay. everything there is kind of set up perfectly for a burger place. Yeah. Plus, they're going to be a little closer to the lakeshore at this location. So I've never had them. I've heard a lot of really good things about their burgers. I think I'm going to have to stop by once they open this new location. Oh, geez. Twist our arms, Laura. I know. I go have a smash burger. Oh no, what a hard life. And for your final need to know news story, we're heading back to Michigan's east side, where if you remember last week, this guy went viral for attending a virtual court hearing from inside his car while he was driving, and he had a suspended license. So it's like, wait, I thought your license was suspended. Why are you driving? Well, he's now claiming, listen, there's been a big misunderstanding. I was allowed to drive. What a nightmare. I would be finding my lawyer, and I would be throwing hands. Yeah, that's not cool at all. That is Big Joe and Laura's need to know news on Mix 95. Seven. It's Big Joe and Laura on Mix 95.7 Grand Rapids Best Mix and I feel like people, uh, the more expensive their cars are, sometimes the cheaper they are, they like to express themselves, right? And that's cool. Maybe you got some rims or there's a bumper sticker that's all about who you are. Well, then there's other things that you look, you're like, who put that on their vehicle? Like, well, you know other people see what you're driving, right? Yeah, we're, we're wondering, what's the stupidest thing that you could put on your vehicle? Like, maybe something you've actually done yourself, you'll admit that, or you just, you've seen, you're like, oh my god, you just shake your head. 616-600-0957. Now, I'm not just throwing stones here, because listen, I live in a glass house, so let, let's just break mine down, too. I'll admit, when I was in high school, I, I think it's when there was a lot of rap songs about spinners and 20-inch and wheels. And st- <laughs> yeah, go ahead. 
Really? Okay. Yeah, because okay. I was in high school the same time you were. I remember okay. how cool it was to have spitters so, and air quotes. I got my mom's car. Pretty sweet hand-me-down. It was a it was a uh, Plymouth Breeze, kind of like a Dodge Stratus or Intrepid, something like that. But it was it was purple. Oh. So I had a purple Plymouth Breeze just cruising around in my Barney mobile, and I saw it at Walmart for like twenty or thirty bucks. Which keep in mind that was a lot of money back then. That was like almost like a new tire, right? I'd say that was like a whole day's work. It back was. Then. They had four hubcaps that you could put on there when you. Laura's- <laughs> I'm laughing because I did the same thing. Oh go God, ahead. we're both trash. No, go okay. Ahead. No, what kind did you have? I don't remember the kind, but like they they were like silver, and like when you stopped, they would spin the little plastic pieces. Oh, you had the spinners. I had spinners. Oh, see, mine weren't spinners. They were just dark, like they were like a dark gunmetal gray, like almost black. Okay. And they were the same kind. They would snap our on because I drove a green Ford Escort ZX2, and it was like the ugliest, stupidest car, and I hated that it was green. So I was like, well, if I put these black ribs on it, maybe it'll look cooler. It did not. In fact, at one point, I hit a curb just slightly, and it shattered one of them. <laughs> it just went everywhere because they were so badly put on. So I only had three of them for a while. Yeah, and then one time, like I hit a bump. Imagine that, right? Bad Michigan roads, yeah. and my spinner rolled off, and I saw it keep on going. I'm like, no. all right, well, I guess I'm gonna switch and take the other three off when I get home. I was not stopping to recover it. No, but at least it actually spun. I mean, technically, it did keep up to its name. That you can't the be best, mad about that it. That was the best spinning it ever had. <laughs> So we want to know, what's the stupidest thing you can put on your vehicle, whether it's yours or you saw it on someone else's? Go ahead. Share them with us. 616-600-0957 or send us a DM right now on the Mix 95.7 app. We are the Big Joe and Laura Show, hanging out with you here on Mix 95.7 Grand Rapids Best Mix. And we're talking about silly things you've seen on other people's vehicle. Joe, you were sharing kind of recently that you, you noticed somebody had something kind of crazy on their car and it took you back to the day when you were doing silly modifications to your own vehicle. Yeah, like, the, and I don't even know if I fully said what I saw. I saw somebody with truck nuts. It's like, really, what are you doing? I did not have those, by the way. I was going to say, I think they were funny like 20 years ago, but now it's like, really, you're still doing this? Yeah, now they're getting old and they're just... And they're, they're hanging mind. lower to hanging the Hanging lower in the back, yeah. <laughs> Detting up the roads. Uh, no, for me, I had back in like the... I graduated high school in 2004, so I loved rap back then. I still do now. And I had like spinny rims, but they were hub caps. They weren't even rims, I should say. So I was <laughs> had those things rocking for a week or two. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. When I came to a stop, they still spin. And then I uh, hit a pothole and one of them spun off like 100 feet down the road. <laughs> so I just took all those off and pretend it never happened. Well, I did the hub caps also, but another modification I had was I got those little LED lights. They weren't even LED lights. They were pre-LED lights that you could plug into your cigarette uh, burner thing, whatever. Uh, back before they were just electric chargers, but I had those and I like stuck them up all over the bottom of my car so it would look like I had floor lights, but my car wasn't weatherproofed very well, so they all fell down within like a week and it just was like random lights in the floorboard of my car. So we want to know what kind of silly thing did you see on someone else's car or what did you have on your own? You can always share with us at 616-600-0957 or you can send us a DM inside the Mix 95 7 app like Shelly and Plainwell who said she saw me. I'm gonna Are you okay? Say, I'm going to say this, and I need you to know that I'm saying a nice word, not a bad word, because it's going to sound close. She said she saw a bumper sticker that said, Mom of Sassholes. Which, honestly, very sassy up in here. Very sassy in that car, and honestly, I low-key kind of want this bumper sticker, so I think it's hilarious. And then Tyler and GR says he absolutely hates it when he sees ducks, uh, the Mama Bear stickers, or the salt life stickers and i agree on the salt life stickers you live in the middle of the midwest there is no salt anywhere near you lake michigan is a saltless lake but maybe they like the salt life and they just want everybody to know it Then move somewhere closer but you don't need the bumper sticker to tell us you went to uh south carolina for vacation you went to myrtle beach one time congratulations you do not need a bumper sticker to tell the rest of us okay well at least you're not holding back we want to hear yours <laughs> 616 600 just in portland what did you see on someone's car that made you go, what are you doing? You know the little stick figure families that people put on the back of their cars? Yeah. yeah. The wife was removed and there was an arrow and it says position yet to be filled. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, though, that's a pretty good sense of humor, especially if you already had the stick family on your car. At least it's an easy modification than taking the whole thing off. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> so did you go talk to them and see if you can like make some room for yourself? 
<laughs> no, no. Not me. Mar- already married. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I don't think you want to be with somebody who is willing to put that on their car because that feels like they're the red flag, not the person that's missing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But like, baby, I'd like to add you as one of my stick figures. What do you say? You can pick out which kind you're going to be. <laughs> Big Joe's Little Wins happen every weekday around this time, and we like to share the good news that's happening in your life or somebody you know. Call us, 616-600-0957, or inside our Mix 95.7 app, you can call, DM, or send a voice message. Absolutely, and let me go ahead and tell you my little win for today. For Mother's Day, Justin slash James got me a bird feeder because I really wanted one because we have so many birds in our yard, and it always makes me sad that uh, they don't have any food. So they got me a bird feeder. I finally got it out and there is a bird that has built a nest in the awning of our back porch yeah and i got to watch mama bird go and get some seed and bring it back to her babies and like all the birds are starting to use it and i finally figured out how to trick the squirrels not to eat all of my bird seed so i'm feeling like a really good bird mom that's right a now. couple of wins right there the yeah. seed for the birds and keeping the squirrels away hey, listen sometimes it's really hard we got a dm from our buddy porta potty drew in fruitport he says this is more of a win for my amazing wife our sink had been clogged for a while and we can't afford a plumber right now so she's been working on it and finally has got it flowing after staying up all night oh my gosh good for you girlfriends let me tell you it is very stressful to have plumbing problems especially when you don't have the extra income because god only knows what it's going to cost when they do show up anybody could try to fix something on their own but to actually fix it and not make it worse <laughs> that's a little win absolutely let's say good morning to natalie and grand rapids hey what's your little win this is my last week of school today. Oh, congrats. Where have you been going to school at? Like, what grade are you in? Um, I'm in seventh grade, and I go to Northview. Awesome. Okay. okay, so are you excited about anything this summer? You got any big plans? Yeah, I'm going to a sleepaway camp with my best friend. Oh, awesome. Where at? Somewhere near here? Um, It's like an hour away. It's called Spring Hill. Awesome. What do you do there? Do you have any, like, activities or any fun stuff you get into? Yeah, last year we went, like, rock climbing and swimming, and we did art and crafts and it was really fun that does sound fun I well say, i want to do that this summer i might have to come uh spend a night in sleepaway camp <laughs> that is so cool natalie thank you for sharing that and congratulations on uh completing the seventh grade and hello eighth grade heck yeah way to yeah. go natalie thank you <laughs> hey if you could be like natalie and share your little wins give us a call at 616-600-0957 or in the mix 95 7 app you can call dm or send a voice message This might be the coolest thing Laura's told me in a long time. I'm really excited about it. Hey, we're Big Joe and Laura on Mix 95. Seven Grand Rapids Best Mix. And I want to know, if you could bring back any TV show, what would it be? And I asked this question because there's a reboot of the competition series American Gladiator that Amazon Prime is going to be bringing back. Now, they... Had it back in the 80s, 90s, obviously. They brought it back in 2008. The 2008 version didn't do that great. But they think that now is the time to have uh, American Gladiators come back out. And honestly, with how much I see people yelling at each other on social media, this might actually solve a lot of our problems as a society to just let people take those giant Q-tips and just beat the crap out of each other. That is something I always dreamed of doing. That was the one where I'm like, well, if I can get it up on that base, I can stay there. I could never do the giant rings where you swing from oh, side to no side. Way. Absolutely not. Couldn't do that hand cranky thing on the final thing. But nope. The, what's the one thing we got to shoot things at, like the gladiator had like the tennis ball gun? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a t-shirt cannon, but it's not. Yeah, that. those are the two events I I wish I could have done. <laughs> that would have been so awesome. So, yeah, like, I. oh, man, the Q-tip thing, I got kind of close to getting to do it. Uh, the What they called Project Graduation, which was like the senior night after graduation they had at my high school, they had one of those set up. And let me tell you, I got a lot of rage out, and I was surprisingly way too good at it, especially for my size at the time. So, <laughs> uh, But we want to know, they're bringing back a lot of those challenges like the Eliminator, Hang Tough, all that. What would you bring back game show wise or just regular TV show wise? We would love to hear from you. 616-600-0957 or you can DM or voice memo us in the Mix 957 app. And don't forget, we have that play along prize if you do participate today. But I'm going to be honest. There's a TV show that only debuted in like the mid 2000s. And I was too young to be on game shows at this point. But I think if they brought it back now, I would absolutely demolish everyone. And that is show the singing bee. Do you remember the singing bee? Was that with? Joey Fatone, or am I thinking of something yes. else? Yes, so Joey Fatone hosted it. It was basically kind of like a trivia show and name that tune slammed together. And the idea was that you kind of, 
you had to na- you had to like karaoke name that tune your way through things. And I play name that tune along with my TV all the time on Hulu. So I feel like if you put me on this game show, I would be like the grand champion. I'd be like a. Uh, uh, Ken Jennings or whatever his name is from uh, Jeopardy who yeah. just went on forever that would be me if this game came back because I'm so good at stupid music trivia and knowledge and all that stuff that I think I could absolutely just win now for me I don't know if my Michigan is showing or not but I really think it'd be cool to have a reboot if it was possible of Home Improvement oh okay so like would you want the same characters back you want somebody else oh yeah what? give me all the characters back I, uh, are you gonna like girl meets world it where like they're all like in separate houses and their kids get together or what? how do you uh, envision so, this happening something like that I, I want like Tim Allen to be a grandpa I want it to be some family drama there but I I want him to maybe like start doing his show now on TikTok and social media. So it continues. <laughs> or he refuses to. He gets a podcast. Yeah, something like that. I just, I think it'd be kind of cool to bring that back as a TV show. I'd love to see that. I, I think it'd be fun. I don't feel like uh, if one of them has to move back into the house, right? Like that has to be a plot point. Oh yeah, point. one not, of the kids. It's not going to be Jonathan Taylor Thomas. He's going to be like the one successful one. But I believe the little brother. Uh, I don't remember his name right now. It's not Zach. Zach's the older brother. Whatever the little brother was, he's the one that moves back into the house because in very typical millennial fashion, he just can't get it together. And he's Is that still JTT, living. Genesis Taylor Thomas? Yeah, he was the middle kid. Oh, okay. So, yeah. When That's I, what all the girls wanted, and I didn't look like him. Nope. He was going to absolutely be the one that succeeded. So I'm not going to – I would never shade JTT like that. But we want to know, what show do you wish you could bring back? Game show, regular show, whatever you'd want to see. 616-600-0957 or shoot us a DM at the Mix 957 app. We're the big joe and laura show on mix 95 7 there's a reboot coming of american gladiators thanks to prime video and they're doing a nationwide search for people to be gladiators uh joe you and i i don't think are probably in great enough shape to audition oh, no. right now i i couldn't do any of the competition stuff <laughs> i thought maybe but even back in the day i might have been able to do the thing where you get to like aim at the the gladiator with the tennis ball gun yeah. and you like try to get him out and and i think that's oh and the joust is it the jousting thing on uh, where you're on the yeah, pillars the thing with the giant q-tips as i call them i don't know what they're called but the they look like uh gloves on a stick yeah basically. like a <laughs> one like a giant q-tip i could have whacked somebody in the head real good i might have had a chance listen i have a fighting shot if that's the only thing i have to compete in but we wanted to know if you could bring back any show or game show from back in the day what would you pick we got a dm inside the mix 95 seven app from stephanie adore who says i really think i could win who wants to be a millionaire if they brought it back yes 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 i, I don't know that i could win but i would be a really solid lifeline for somebody on a really dumb question because i've got so much useless information you know how like yeah laura can't lose you've watched me find you yeah answers. you've had your moments of greatness yeah so like i feel like i could be the ultimate lifeline could i make it all the way to the million no probably not oh my gosh i, I just i saw this we just got another dm real quick in the mix 95 7 app i don't know if you saw this uh when you were growing up somebody said the bozo show like where you get to do like the little uh the ping pong ball like toss into the bucket i don't know this one. Oh my i know i'll have to show you in a second this okay. is the thing Yes, I wish we could bring that back because as like a 37 year old adult, I always dreamed of being on that show. And I'm like, I could throw the ping pong ball into the bucket and, and win the prizes. These kids are terrible. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, it's kind of like, uh, what was the show? Uh, oh, gosh. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Like, if I could do it now on Nickelodeon, as an adult, yeah. I would win. No question. Or, or uh, Guts, where you got to go for the crag. I'm totally beating all those kids as an adult. No, no, you got to be saying Double Dare. Okay, we, <laughs> all right, we, this can't be about us. No, but uh, we would love to hear from you at 616-600-0957. Joey Walker, what show are you bringing back if you get to? If I could bring back one show, I would bring back My Name is Earl. Oh, that's a great answer because I love that show and I would love to see how they would take on a lot of the, like the political and social commentary type stuff these days. Yeah, I really like it. I just wish it was my season. Heck yeah. No, that's a really good answer, wasn't, actually. Wasn't that show it's like where like this guy had the list of things he had to write that he did wrong? Yeah, yeah. It's, that one. it's one of the shows that like happened pre-cell phones being a big deal. So I would love to see how they tackle a lot of those things. Does he text people? Does he start sending DMs? Like, yes, absolutely, Joey. That's an incredible answer that I would have never thought of. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a good day. It's time for Big Joe and Laura's Need to Know News on Mix 95.7. Detroit musical legends Jack White, Big Sean, Diana Ross, and more are getting ready to be part of a concert that's produced by Eminem. That's cool. It's celebrating the grand reopening of the Michigan Central Station in Detroit on Friday. Now, if you can't be there in person, it is quite the drive, or maybe you got plans. The event will be streamed live on Peacock beginning at 8.30 p.m., and there'll be a one-hour rebroadcast that will be shown on NBC on Sunday. 
Sunday at 7 p.m. I will be catching the Sunday one, and I cannot wait to watch it. Okay, so everybody's got their routine, and maybe this is a sign you shouldn't skip yours, because a man here in Michigan refused to miss his usual lottery drawing while he was on vacation, and that ended up paying off massively. His name is Doug. He lives in Beaverton, and he bought a Fantasy Five ticket on his way out of town to make sure he was covered while he was gone. He's like, oh, the lottery's coming up. i got to make sure I have my ticket. Okay. So he picks up this ticket, goes on his trip with his wife. When he comes back, he checked and he matched all five numbers and he walked away with $110,000. I guess that does give me a reason to try to be more consistent in my life. As my dad used to say, you can't win if you don't play. He says he's going to finish some home improvements with the money he's made and save the rest. And honestly, good for you, Doug. Keep being consistent. And for your final need to know news story, we're heading to Brooklyn, New York, where an off-duty firefighter was on his way to work Friday when he saw an apartment building on fire and rushed inside with no gear on. Saw a black smoke coming out a window, went to the front. The woman was there screaming about her dogs. I said, okay, is anyone else in there? She said, he's in there trying to get um, the dogs. And from there, I opened the door and there was an e-bike on fire right there at the front door. It's turned into a giant fireball. Talk about a hero. I mean, firefighters are already heroes, but holy crap. I feel like that's just natural for them, right? You and I were like, oh, I want to help, but I don't know. It's like, oh, it's okay. Hold my beer. Bye. Well, well, listen, if somebody's playing a playlist with a bunch of songs and no one talking in between it, don't worry. I will stop on my way into work and make sure you guys have plenty of commentary between the songs. Wow, you're such a hero. I know. That's Big Joe and Laura's Need to Know News on Mix 95.7. It's time to play Laura Can't Lose on Mix 95.7. Here's how it happens. You'll have one minute to answer five questions. You can pass if you need to, and we'll come back if time allows. A tie goes to Laura because, well, her name's on the show. Here's who's playing Laura Can't Lose today. Back for their second day, representing Allendale, we've got Andrew and his sons Asher and Declan taking on Laura. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm rooting you on. Uh, hopefully you guys can beat me today. Let's see how it goes. Good luck. I will be. <laughs> there we go. That's the same thing as get out. Yeah, I think that is a get out. I'm <laughs> All right. When that door closes, I'll give you question number one, which is what iconic company did Steve Jobs start? Uh, Apple. Question two, plus, multiply, divide, and equals are album names from this redheaded singer. Multiply. Ooh, I don't know. Go back to that one later. <laughs> Question three. What is the nickname of the limo the President of the United States is driven in? Uh, the Beast. Question four. What galaxy do we live in? Uh, Milky Way. Question five. What character is known for the catchphrase, Did I do that? Uh, uh, Urkel. Question two again. Plus, multiply, divide, and equals are album names from this redheaded singer. Ooh. Uh, Reba McIntyre? All right. I am going to bring Laura back in. Laura! La, 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 Laura! Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. All right, Laura, let's see if you got what it takes to beat the guys, because you have a chance to do that. They only got four out of five, correct? Ooh, oh, no. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, Laura, question number one. What iconic company did Steve Jobs start? That would be Apple. Correct. One, one, going into question two. Plus, multiply, divide, and equals are album names from this redheaded singer. Ed Sheeran? Good guess. That is correct. Ooh. Andrew didn't know any guess to Reba. So. Oh, honestly, I would rather listen to Reba than Ed Sheeran most days. So no shame in that, Andrew. Well, will that one chance let Reba down? We're about to find out. You have a two to one lead, Laura, going to question three. Oh, no fancy. What is the nickname of the limousine the United States president is driven around in? I know the plane is Air Force One. Yep, that is. I'll tell you right now. That's not it. I know it's not that. Um. Oh, no, I don't know the answer to this at all. Um, Land Force One? <laughs> you know, that's actually pretty logistical and a decent one, but no, it's actually the Beast. Oh, I've never heard of that. Okay, like well, Land Force One better. we have a uh, tie game now. It's 2-2 two, two going into question yeah. four. Okay. What galaxy do we live in? The Milky Way, like the candy bar. 
Exactly. That's right. 3-3 three, three going into the final question number five. What character is known for the catchphrase, did I do that? That would be one of my favorites from my childhood, Steve Urkel. <laughs> well, you both got one wrong today, but it still resulted in a tie, which means we're going to have you come back, Andrew, in Allendale with the boys and uh, plan Wednesday. All right. We'll be up to 75 bucks. Woo-hoo! So, Laura, you're saying your husband, James, had something happen to him and you kind of wish things went down differently? Yeah. Hey, we're Big Joe and Laura on Mix 95.7 Grand Rapids Best Mix. And over the weekend, I was uh, with my husband, James, and we stopped at Nonla Burger on Bridge Street to grab dinner. And we placed our order ahead of time because we were at the John Ball Zoo. So we're like, we'll swing by there, grab dinner, take it home. And we had the little guy with us. So... Uh, he goes inside, picks up the order. The first order we pick up was accidentally a different James's order. That was a whole <laughs> thing that was not fun and a thing I've never dealt with. But so he goes back, returns the order, and he comes back out with our actual order. Right as he opens the door, some guy is riding his bike on the sidewalk right there in front of Nonla Burger. I mean, within like a foot and a half of the door. James opens the door. Obviously, he cannot see the guy on the bike coming by. The guy slams into my husband, knocks him to the ground. He throws food, drinks, spills it everywhere. And the guy and his four-year-old, five-year-old kid basically just kind of stare at James and then just ride off. Now, the kid did recognize what his dad was did was wrong because he goes, Daddy, why'd you do that? And like, but the, the guy didn't apologize. So they'd be like, are you, are you okay? Or whatever. And just get, went on his way. And in the time I watched the whole thing happen, I'm sitting in my truck. I'm literally looking out the window, watching my husband walk through the door. I see him get slammed into, I freeze because I'm just like, oh my God, is he okay? Is everything okay? He gets up. He has a really nasty bruise on his stomach right now. But I mean, he could have broken a rib. He could have had internal bleeding. Like we had to like watch him for a little while because he got hit at such a high speed. I'm still a little concerned something could be wrong with him. How fast was this whole moment actually, do you think, really taking place where James walked out, the guy hit him, and eventually was gone? 15 seconds, tops, the whole thing. I mean, it was literally so quick, but it felt like five minutes in the moment because I saw my husband get hurt. I didn't get out of the car and say something in the moment. I probably would have fought this man had my baby not been in the car because I was so mad about it because it was so, A, incredibly reckless to be riding your bike on the sidewalk, especially in a busy area like that where you've got three or four restaurants right there where people are constantly coming in, in and out. And B, to not even check on the person, like not to have the decent courtesy to be like, hey, dude, I'm sorry I knocked your food over. Is everything okay? Like he saw that he ruined our food. And still didn't do anything like and maybe it was because he had a kid with him that I'm like, you're teaching a terrible lesson to your son of no accountability and no. And so like, I don't know, I just it made me so mad. And for the last like 24 hours, I've been stewing on the fact that I wish I had said something, even if it was just like, hey, watch where you're going. Insert expletive here, because it just it made me so (laughs) mad. This guy needs to know you don't do that. There's literally a bike lane three feet away from where he was ride your bike down the damn bike lane. Like, is that so hard? Only thing I can think of in this situation, I'm trying to figure out, like, why did this guy do this? is maybe the embarrassment of the shock because I know sometimes people freak out. Like, it sounds like he struck James very hard. Very hard. And he's like, oh, crap. Like, doesn't make it right, but maybe he was, like, not in the right mind thinking. And the only other thing, I'm not trying to discount what you're saying about you and James, is, like, maybe he thought it'd be safer for his son to be on the sidewalk than a bike lane, but still, you got to follow the law and you you got to pay attention. That bothers me, what you're talking about with bikes, and I've seen several people almost get run into on uh, scooters. It's like, you, you can't be there. You got to be in designated spots for everybody's safety. Exactly, and if you're worried about your kid getting hit by a car because of bike lanes and stuff, don't go to a busy part of town to ride your bike, dummy. Like, it's not that hard to under... And I'm, I'm getting heated right now because... I was going to say, it's, it's pretty I'm, bothersome. This is very... Like, I'm very personally passionate about this. And I think it's because, A, you're endangering your kid by taking him into a busy area where you know there's a ton of cars. Like, go ride your bike in a park. Go ride your bike in your neighborhood. I don't take my son on walks in his stroller in places where I'm nervous I'm going to get hit by, by cars for that exact reason. I go to the side streets and I wander weird parts of my neighborhood in order to, you know, avoid traffic. That's not an excuse to run someone over, especially when you're trying to like, you know, you're teaching your kid something by saying, ah, you can just slam into people at 20 miles an hour and walk away. It's no big deal. Again, if that if if both of our children had been present, that man would have maybe gotten me arrested. I was so angry about it because you just ran over my husband for no reason. So I don't know. Maybe you have a situation like this. I want to know, when do you wish you had said something, whether it was someone to you know, someone that was a stranger, someone that did you wrong, and in the moment, you just froze 
froze and there was nothing you could do about it. I'll tell you right now, if I was there, I would have said something. I mean, all that food wasted, you're going to have to buy me more. At least bare minimum, offer to buy our dinner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 616 600 957 When do you wish you had said something? We're Big Joe and Laura here on Mix 95.7. We are the Big Joe and Laura show on Mix 95.7, Grand Rapids Best Mix. And we're asking, when was the time you wish you had said something? Uh, I, over the weekend, had a, a moment where my husband was getting us dinner at Nonla Burger. He walks out of the restaurant. Some guy slams into him at like 20 miles an hour on his bike. I mean, full speed going down the sidewalk where, by the way, you're not supposed to ride your bike. And in the moment, I didn't say anything because I was so shell-shocked. The whole thing happened in like 15 seconds. And I wish I had just said something to the guy because his kid was there. It was a bad example across the board. And even his kid recognized it was a a messed up situation because he said, Daddy, why did you do that? So I want to know, again, when was the time you wish you'd said something to somebody? 616-600-0957. Or you can send us a DM inside the Mix 957 app. Before you get to some of those DMs, I just have a random question, but it's I think it's a serious thing that we could use for social media content on the Big Joe and Laura Facebook or Instagram or, or TikTok. Is there a video of this? Do you know? Like, do they have an outside camera you could go back and get? Oh, I don't. I I don't know. I wouldn't post it just because there's a child involved, and I don't. I don't. Oh, think we'll it's blur that thing out. I just. No, I, I'm so I glad that James is okay. Yeah. As fast as he was hit. Yeah. No. I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just the guy's a jerk, and he deserves to get his. his I'm not going to say what I would do to this man. It it would not end up with me. Uh, being in very good terms with the Grand Rapids Police Department, probably after how mad I was about it. But uh, we got a few DMs in the Mix 95.7 app. Some people kind of uh, in the same mood as me with things they would want to say, like Katie and Holland, who said, I definitely wish I'd cussed out my ex, but I was trying to be the bigger person and it would have stooped to his level. And now I really regret it, <laughs> which I have a few of those in my past, Katie. I totally get it. Uh, Brandon and Rockford said, I wish I'd told my college best friend what he meant to me at the time. I wouldn't have made it through without him. And now that we've lost contact, it'd be kind of weird to say it to him, but I've thought about it a oh, lot. Oh no, man, forget the weird. Embrace that, man. Reach out. Absolutely. And Nicole in Grand Rapids, uh, this is one of the ones I kind of expected people to say, and I've got a few of these in my life as well, but she said, I wish I had told my mother-in-law before she passed how much she meant to me and what a big help and influence she was while I was raising my own kids. My mother died when I was really young, and I was lucky to have my mother-in-law in my life. And you know what? You should give people their flowers when you can, because my stepmom is the same way, and she's stepped up and done so much, and without her, I would be lost. And I try to tell her every single chance I can, because you never know when you may not get to. So, Is there something that you wish you would have said to somebody? We'd, we'd like to hear about it. You can just pretend that you're saying it to them through us. How about that? DM us on the uh, Mix 95.7 GR Facebook page or again, give us a call at 616-600-0957.